take a look at them up close. Let's start with the uh, Rebel first. So here's the Rebel. Okay, they all have the little tail. But if you can see, this tail is a... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's not it's not really a feather. It's probably more like a horse tail or something. And if you look at it, I don't know. It looks okay. I can tell you. Let's start with the hooks, okay? This lore. The hooks you better change out right away. Cause I'm trying to because I fish tournaments and stuff and I have been I do upgrade my hooks a lot of times. And I can tell you, none of those hooks are good. Maybe one point. Maybe one point out of the six points available, I would consider a tournament grade point. If you look at this, you have... this is I kind of chose them to be all the same colors also. So if you look at this one, I mean, it's got green top. And some type of a design on the side and kind of a white belly. But I was trying to look for like a baby bass color so we can do the comparisons. It's got a red mouth, which I like. The eyeballs are not really even eyeballs, they're kind of carved in or molded in, and then they painted it. There's the bottom end. It does kind of have like a scale pattern to it. And I don't know what this is. This is just airbrushed in real quick. It feels like you could build one of these in about, you know, two, three minutes. That's the left side. A good look at. Okay, then we go to Yozuri, right? Yozuri has a green mouth. Kind of a, a different type of design of a mouth. So this is, that's just a bold mouth. This has got like a double bold mouth in here. So it probably pops a little bit better. It's got great looking eyes. Great looking eyes. Gill plate. I believe this is their IU color. They call it in Japan. But nice top color. Not like you can see it. But on the bottom it's got a white pearlescent bottom. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. But that is a really cool thing. A lot of fish like that. So that's cool. This one's just white. Alright. And the tail. The tail feather. Good job. I like that. To me, a uh, tail feather can't be too thick. It just has to be, just has to be there to kind of hide the hook a little bit. Because when you're popping it, this just barely, this tail should just barely fall down in the water. As soon as you pop it, it just kind of does this thing. You know, no, I shouldn't get the camera to focus again. It should just kind of flare. It should just flare. It should just flare. It should just flare. It should just flare. It shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't be stiff or anything like that. All right. But as far as hooks concerned, you know, it's got good hooks. It's got real good hooks. Uh, scale pattern. There really isn't much of a scale pattern. On the bottom, there's a little bit of scale pattern. No scale pattern on the side, as you can see. No scale pattern on the side. On top, a little bit of scale pattern on top. A little bit. See the camera's trying to focus here. A little bit of a scale pattern on top. Nothing too crazy. But there you go. There you go. Scale pattern. A little bit of scale pattern right there on the belly. Hooks are good. Hooks are real good. I like the green mouth. You can see it from far away. The point of having green mouths or red mouths is just it's a strike indicator for you so you can see if you're popular so there or not. So here's the mega bass, right? This to me is a little excessive. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'd like to have that, you know, kind of more like this. Like half the half the craziness there. You know, so half half of that. You could always trim, you know, if you have enough, you can always trim. So you're gonna have to trim that. As far as hooks goes. Very sharp hook. All six points ready to go. My little gripe is that's a really, really thin wire hook. So you definitely might not want to fish this on braid. It might it might strain it out. If you do, you better be on like a medium light rod. Um, it might it might bend the hook out. 
But the whole point of the Mega Bass is if you look at the mouth, the mouth is not truly a cupped mouth as most people would uh, think it is. So this mouth, it'll shoot all the water forward. This mouth, they claim water will go through here and out the gills, well, out the lip of the gills, as you can see here. There's a little cut right here. And it'll actually come out right there. So, so when you pop this, pop this forward a little bit, when you pop it up and forward a little bit, it'll actually shoot water to the side. That's what they claim. That's what they claim, and that's what, I guess that's what works. Uh, because the industry has really, really copied this design too, by the way. And on top of that, if you look at the design, this is where your extra $10 goes into. Well, $1 probably goes to the back seat. But here's the other $10. If you look at the design of this, Okay, you can see the scales. You can see that they're, they put some thought and some work into this. Look at the design itself. It's got dimensions. It's got a lot of dimensions. This one, if you look at the dimensions on this, very basic, very basic. Big head, slim, slims down. Look at this one. Kind of a big head, cool looking gills, basically just slim down. If you look at this one, big head, gills, it's got a back and an arch to it. Okay? So these guys are is what I would consider uh, custom lord builders, okay? but they build it for the masses. Okay, if you get something like this built, it'll be like $60, $70. And painted like this too, $60, $70. So that's the whole point of the Mega Bass Lords. They are the production guys that can get you custom quality. Almost, yeah, I would even venture to say better than custom quality. You look at this, look at that. Got the pearlescence up the mouth. Little pearlescence here, little pearlescence here. Gold belly. They don't do a single shot of one solid color. It's multicolor. This thing looks like it's alive. Look at the scale pattern on this thing. Look at the scale pattern on that. You can actually see the scales. That is pretty crazy. You can actually see the scales on the head, on the gill plate. Look at those eyes. And it's actually got lips. You know, it looks like it's got lips. And if you look at the head, the head looks like a head of a fish. Look at it. No? Look at that. That looks so cool. Like, if you don't ever throw this, you hang this on the wall, it's, it's worth hanging on the wall, man. It's that good. That's the cool thing about these crazy Japanese lures. It'll fool even humans because they don't even want to throw it now. Yeah, but look at that. That looks. Look at the scale pattern on that. Just look at that. That's something you can't say about all these other lures. Look at the scale pattern on that. You know? You're just like, well, that's just a bunch of random straight lines. I know. This one doesn't even add it. Look at this one. One last time before we close up shop here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And you know, if you took the hooks off and threw it out there, I'm sure a turtle's gonna eat it too. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's what you get when you pay top dollar for a lord. So in terms of hooks, the Yozuri's got the better hooks. I'm just going to say that right now. The Rebel, basically, don't even fish it. Uh, you'll probably get your heart broken because the fish is going to jump off. Uh, at least sharpen them or replace those hooks with something else. If you do, use the hooks you want. Owner ST 36s size 5s and size 6s. And the Mega Bass is pretty good. You can fish it the way it is. Just be sure not to throw it on braid. Throw it on some mono, probably like some 8-pound uh, mono. 
10 pound mono probably do pretty good i'll probably trim that tail down a little bit and that's it i mean that is poppers the the grade of poppers so all right guys uh like i said if you like this stuff uh, let me know in the comments and we'll uh we'll do more of it we'll do uh you know is it worth it <laughs> basically is it worth paying more money for more quality or is it not we'll let you decide anyways this is connery from out of work this is the first lore review of 2021 so if you guys like this stuff like i said we'll we'll do some more